Hello everyone. We appreciate you returning to our channel with this new video. Here we provide all of Abraham's wonderful teachings so that you can feel yourself and get better simply by controlling your thoughts. Let's get started. Someone asked the question about crying, tears flowing, and we said in every case when tears flow it is a releasing of resistance mm -hmm. it's a releasing of resistance and from what you know of us and you know a lot you've been listening to us for a while nothing is more important than releasing resistance and so as you tell this story and release resistance and people are wanting to know well, what's the difference between tears of joy and tears of pain tears of sorrow <laughs> tears and we say there's a difference if tears of appreciation and tears of gratitude in that there are no tears in appreciation there are still tears in gratitude because it's still resistance that you are overcoming right. so now you are here now you've come to this place where it's time for you to to no longer beat the drum of how much time and struggle it was from from where you've come but celebrating where you are on your way to yeah. the more that is coming in other words it really is time yeah. to to let that but there are so many people and you've hit right on it this is something that so many people are wanting to be really good creators but they're still standing in the struggling stack of people and when you're standing in the str struggling stack of people pointing out the adversities that you have overcome makes you shine in that stack right. but it keeps you out of the other pile right. altogether you yeah. see there are so many people who have really overcome adversities that don't let themselves move out of completely right. out of the vibration of adversity right. because it's still entertaining right, right, right. to explain the adversity and and here's the bottom line it makes the people who are still standing in the struggling pile willing to put up with your success right, right. If you tell them how long you've suffered yeah. before you triumph, you say, yeah, and we say it still slows you way, way down. You want to stop it. Right, right. All of you. In other words, right. it still slows you way, way down. Right. It slows you way, way down. But, but what it really speaks to is that so many people are appealing almost a hundred percent to the way they are perceived by others. Yeah. So what they think of me really matters a lot to me, Abraham. So I've got to soften what they think. And so since I'm thriving in every possible way and look at them, they're not happy. They're not <laughs> happy that I'm thriving. I'm making them jealous. And we say, you may be inspiring them to understanding what's possible. No, they don't like me anymore. They're not writing me letters. We say good. <laughs> they're not coming to my parties we say not a problem in other words but but when you want to appeal to them when you want to appease them then you gotta be enough like them that you keep the connection going and when you're keeping that connection going you're breaking this connection right. yeah. really strong yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we think it is a wonderful thing that is happening with you and it is uh, you deserve a uh, strong uh, voice of appreciation for your willingness to keep the faith for your willingness to keep your desire alive for your willingness that even though it got a little stale you kept throwing more jeeps in the pile <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> and and now it's time to just revel to just revel in the well-being that you've got and this is the thing that we'd like to say to all of you if any of you are experiencing the app right now experiencing the absence of anything in other words five months ago she was still experiencing the absence of this so if any of you are still experiencing the absence of something that you want you have to let go of your awareness that it's absent yeah. that that you just you you ha and so it's an interesting thing easy for us to say Abraham how do I not notice that something that I really really want is missing and we say by getting back to the essence of why you want it which isn't missing in meditation you, you let go of the cork yeah you let, in you, when you stop the thought you stop resistance when you stop resistance your vibration raises when your vibration raises the what's in your vortex can be realized by you seamlessly yeah. perfect the real-time realization is you just move through time as this holy focused all of you 
in this moment your point of attraction is exponentially enhanced we cannot even find accurate comparative description of the leverage that you accomplish once you do oh. what you've been doing and that doesn't mean that you can't focus in some way and and prevent it or resist it or hinder it but once it starts flowing once you've got that then the entire world has to perceive you as you perceive yourself within the world the world is reflecting back to you exactly what your opinion of you is so what you accomplish during meditation is a merging of the opinion of source with you the the flow the dominance of who you really are will prevail every time when you're really in alignment you are blended with the whole of who you are and that is the opposite of lonely that's full so if you're feeling a moment of of detachment or loneliness from others it's not because you've achieved a high vibration and there's nobody else there with you it's because you have been high you know what that feels like and now you're not and what you're lonely for is your alignment once you have felt the fullness of all of you being present in the moment nothing else will do yeah. but your loneliness is not about you see you never did want to fill that void with other people that is truly looking for love in all the wrong places mm -hmm. that's looking for alignment all in all the wrong places when you find alignment you're happy by yourself when you find alignment you're happy when you're with others mm -hmm. when you find alignment there's an unconditional happiness mm -hmm. you don't need people to behave or perform in any certain way in order for you to feel good you just feel good because that's what you've practiced yourself into you see so if you're still feeling some loneliness that's all right it just means you're still working the kinks out of this steady alignment mm -hmm. thing when you have found alignment with source when you have found the perfection of personal blending with who you are looking for it in a conversation with a friend is going back trying to find somebody that gets you yeah. is going back because uh -huh. it's not their job to get you it's their job to get them right we just want you to understand that you don't need to be with anyone else to have full alignment and in full alignment others who have full alignment will join you so here's what's happening to you mm. you found that alignment so often mm -hmm. that you recognize it you know it when you see it and now you are sort of manually trying to manipulate your relationships into flying around with high flyers but you can't do it that way you got to fly high and let law of attraction bring you the high flyers just complete these these questions choose a b c or d i'm usually happy i'm usually ornery i care a lot about what you think i don't give a rip about what you think uh, just fill in the ones that apply to you and then and then you go through this long list of things until you drive yourself crazy and you find no one you find no one who's a perfect vibrational match to you because everybody's got some freaky thing about them that's going to make you nuts we hope you enjoy our videos which are more than just educational they are also changing people's lives so by sharing our videos you are also helping to change lives thank you and we'll see you in the next video